guys, it's me, Annabella Rose, back from KarmaLifestyles.com. And you have found yourself watching Karma TV right here on YouTube. Now today we are asking the question, signs that he has a big personality. Yes, I did put personality at the end of that. Now girls like many a big thing on men, but is personality one of them? For me personally, I am a big personality myself, so I can't have a man that I kind of swoon over and I'm larger than. So let's see what everybody else thinks. Signs he has a big personality. He has to have good posture. Teeth. Good license. Confidence. Honest. If he's talkative. He must be very open-minded and very free when he's talking. His smile. He's quite cocky. Um, he knows a lot about the world. He's got some good banter, you know. Do you like a guy with a big personality? Are those the guys you're kind of attracted to? No, not always. I like to have a personality, but not bigger than mine because you don't want it to be all about them, do you? Okay. You want a guy that's going to ask you questions about yourself and not just be all about himself. Nice hands. Honestly, like on the first sentence, to have like a sense of humor. Do you yes. think that it's a sign of having, you know, be, having a big, brave personality if you can crack jokes? You can see on his eyes. You can see if he smile and give you some kind of like a tip. Yeah, I think so. The eye contact, of course. If he manages to approach you, then I think he's definitely confident. But you say posture and eye contact. What does that say to you about a person? Like good posture. It shows like you're proud to be of who you are. Yeah. Like I guess shy, mm -hmm. and you're putting yourself out there because you're not just hiding away. You yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. I'd say it's how he walks in the room, how he carries himself, and say his swagger. Why do you like a bit of swagger? Because it means the person is open. Yeah. It's you know, the way they carry themselves. Like confident. Confident, yeah. yeah. Uh, they're and obviously quite cool if they've got swag. There you go. Yeah, if they don't take themselves too seriously. They've got chat. Yeah. Do you like a bit of chat? You like? I like a bit of chat. I like someone that uh, carries themselves well. Yeah? Sure. Would you go for a guy that has those sort of personality traits over maybe more of a shy guy? Yeah. Depends on how smart they are. I think the very important thing about having confidence is to have ability to speak well and have yeah. a little bit knowledge about something that she or he speaks. So I think that brings the confidence into a guy. Do you like a confident guy? Yes, very much. Do you think shy people can be confident but just kind of in their own way? If they try, if they work on themselves, maybe, yeah. yeah. Why not? I think there's a sign of a big personality is like being really secure of yourself, like self-confidence. Can you tell that someone's self-confidence when they walk into the room? Sometimes you can tell. It's like something in the way somebody walks or in the way somebody talks, you know? Yeah. You can notice on that thing. I think as soon as he walks into the room, he's just very present, he's aware, like he's just there. If he's active, they're normally a lot more confident. Okay. So if they do like sports or something like that, a lot more confident, a lot more talkative, normally have a bigger personality. Why do you think maybe sports and physical fitness plays a role in confidence? I think because in that industry, it's a social industry. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Do you think there is such a thing as having too big a personality? Yes, there is. Okay. If you have a lot of too egoistic. How he speaks to you, I feel like if he comes across as smooth, yeah. then he's got like a nice, like a big personality. Uh -huh. I think what you wear matters. Do you think what you wear like reflects your personality? 100%. Do you like a guy to be confident? Yep. But maybe not too not confident. too confident. Okay, so what's the difference between confident and too confident? Too confident is arrogant. And what makes someone arrogant? They feel like everyone else is wrong and they are like they are the best in this world. Yeah. Do you think that there is something as too big a personality? Absolutely, obnoxious. They always has to be the center of attention. Yeah. Loudest guy in the room. Yeah, no. not not great. Not really. I know there are some people who have way too confident and I think that's not very good. The key is the balance. Yes. What's the line between the two? Is there like a... Um, I feel like a big personality can be nice but not to the point where it's overpowering and it's becoming a one-way conversation. Yeah, when he flashes too much. So there you have it guys, the answer to today's question which was signs that he has a big personality. Well, it comes down to your first impressions, the way you hold yourself, the way you smile and your eye contact. Also, a lot of people People said that the way that you dress is very important because it's literally how you outwardly project your personality through your style. Now, what you need to think of is how you perceive yourself. If you think you've got that big, confident personality, then you need to show it. When you walk into a room, 
own it. And that's gonna, gonna be the thing that makes all the girls look your way. Now, of course, you don't wanna walk the line between confidence and arrogance. If you are arrogant and you love yourself a little bit too much, then it can be a negative effect on females and actually repel them as opposed to attract them, which, of course, is the aim of the game. So if you think you're struggling with your confidence, maybe you are a little bit too arrogant, maybe you're not confident enough and you don't have the personality projecting that you want to, then maybe you need to try out our confidence course. Now, now what you need to do to get hold of that, click on the link above or click on the link in the description below. Now that's going to take you to our website and tell you everything you need to know about our confidence courses. So we can help you discover who you are, your amazing self and put your best foot forward in all of these situations. I of course have been Annabella Rose, follow us on all of our social media, Facebook, Instagram, here on YouTube. So hit that cheeky subscribe button and we will see you next time on Karma TV.